Hey, how we doing? I'm not too bad today. Doing okay. Had a good morning. Oh yeah, I'm pumped for it. It's gonna be an exciting one. Uh, my name is Lemur online. Uh, I'm Eli, I go by Eli, so. Uh, probably Lemur, just for uh, like safety purposes, because me and Nano have gotten into it a little bit. Obviously I'm gonna be professional and everything, but. <laughs> But uh, for you, I'm Eli for whatever. Yep. Oh man, I'm pumped. Yeah. I just was, uh, I, I played a competitive Hearthstone League and I was on stream there last night and got all my juices up and flowing. So I was like, oh yeah, this is fun. I, I remember this. Give me one sec. So I don't, I don't think that they're ready. I guess they'll let me know. But in the meantime, I'm just going to Oh, you know what? I actually know who this is. Give me one sec. And also, I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see Oh yeah, Perfect. exactly what I see. Sounds good to me. Um, oh, wait. I should do this. So share screen. Dueling book. Here we go. Excellent. Let me get... Now I need to do some stuff to get the chat up and all that. about chat <sighs> okay so we are here uh, let me see let me know if you guys can hear me by the way because we're live I'm gonna cut the music down a little bit and then lemur also you speak I just want to make sure people can everyone hear lemur as well yeah hey guys what's going on Gonna be co-commentating with me today. Should be pretty fun. And we might have Stango later on. He's building a coffee table right now, but he might jump in. Oh point. man. <laughs> coffee table's gotta go up before a money match. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a grudge match that started in edisonformat.com's um Discord server. And it's between two guys who I guess had some differing opinions and they wanted to put their money where their mouth is, so. Should be pretty yeah. interesting. A little bit of a little bit of additional context there. Uh, the Nano has been coming in posting some pretty pretty spicy deck lists for the past couple of weeks, uh, and has not gotten along with some of the members of the community. Uh, and I think that uh, the person facing off with him today decided that enough was enough, and he was gonna he was gonna issue a challenge. Yeah. No. I. Uh, so first off. Um, if you look at the bottom at the scrolling, we have like a scrolling text there and that's gonna be where the scoreboard is kept. So if you notice it says like best of 11, set count, the nano 5560, uh, and then rip no kid, no cry. So as the games progress, I will update that throughout. Um, so you guys are able to like, you know, keep track of who has won how many games and all that good stuff. Yeah, we'll definitely have score keeping going on. Yeah, because we're, we're going to full best of 11, right? That's what they agreed to? Yeah, they agreed to best of 11, and there is money on the line. So I'm, I, I like doing this. This is fun. I'm, I'm hoping that more people step up because $100, that's a that's a real amount of money, you know? That's like a yeah. good, you can get a good dinner or take your girlfriend out or your, your boyfriend or whatever you're into and, and have a great time. You can go see a movie, maybe get like two buckets of popcorn with a hundred bucks <laughs> <laughs> maybe one of those dune specialty popcorn buckets you know yeah yeah you can even have some fun with that afterwards so but uh, oh my gosh how's everybody doing today on this fine sunday oh man yeah i always love money matches it, it makes people take it a bit more seriously exactly put, really put their mind into it you get the best results i uh i used to play super smash brothers melee quite a bit and money matches in that scene always made people kind of level up so i'm excited to see what we see today yep i am i'm the same way i can't i, I want to see the decks i want to see what decks they're gonna be playing oh i know yeah i uh Nano could be anything. I'm not gonna lie. He has a lot of a lot of different opinions. He he's pretty influential in the goat community okay. uh, where he was beforehand. Uh, he he made the world championships for that. 
Oh, format, so he's actually, he's actually, actually pretty good in uh, Goat Format. Yes. Then. Okay. He is good. At, he is good at Goat Format. He is a very good technical player. Uh, a lot of the community differs on whether or not he's a good deck builder. Okay, so he's so, not just some guy talking out of his ass who's not good at the game. Oh no. He's like actually okay. I'm happy now. Now we, I, now that I know that we're having like a, a real Yu-Gi-Oh player versus another real Yu-Gi-Oh player, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. He is. He is a good technical Yu-Gi-Oh player. It's just that his deck choices are a little bit out there and yeah, wacky. I have read some of his opinions on things, and uh, you know I agree with some of it, and some of it obviously I disagree. But I do that with literally everyone who's ever touched Yu-Gi-Oh. So it's like. You know, it could be play, obviously polarizing on some some topics. Like people were talking about taking Gale out of Value Turbo, right? Like, I've, <laughs> yeah. I've seen it all. I've seen everything that you could see at this point. Nothing surprises me, but uh, I'm always here for some good Yu-Gi-Oh. Absolutely, and that's what I'm excited for is to get some good quality gameplay. Um, uh, with the with the World Championship, uh, we actually just had on YouTube in your sphere. Uh, there is a money match ongoing series that AJT BLS has put out. Uh -huh. uh, that's also against the Nano and Goat format. Uh, it's a thousand dollar money match. I believe um, I saw some of that actually because that was hosted on the Goat formats YouTube channel, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Both of them have said that they are ready in the Discord server. Ooh. Let's go. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a great series. Uh, oh, so wait, they're discussing the list stuff. So you guys, so they're discussing sending me the deck list. I don't, in my opinion, I don't really care if they send a deck list or not, because they're going to play the entire set with one deck and like there would, right. there would not be any switching out of the game. Like once you start the game, it's just going to go back and forth constantly. So. Um, but yeah, I we're certainly going to see some public is I don't know if they want it to be like, I know your, yeah. your 60 cards or whatever, or your seven. From what cards, Nano rather. just said, it looks like he wanted to do open deck list. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing in terms of that. Like they, so we'll see what, we'll see what comes out of that. Okay. I just got a deck list from, uh, one person. So this is this is Ricky's. I guess Ricky is okay. Yeah, Ricky is no kid, no cry. So or rip rip kid, no cry. Sorry. Um, so I have his deck list here, and I guess I'm just waiting on. So let me just re like put a thumbs up there. Boom. So I acknowledge I got that deck list. Yeah, this will uh, this will certainly be an interesting one. I'm I'm quite interested to see what deck list they do end up playing. Uh, Ricky plays a lot of different stuff pretty pretty well uh, from what I've seen. I watched some of his replays from War League, mm -hmm. um, and Nano is a very proficient goat player. So I'm excited to see what he kind of pulls out and goes into the Edison scene with. He's entered a couple of tournaments so far. I know he was in uh, the last couple of RBETs, but I don't think posted any conclusive results. I know he went positive, but other than that, uh, didn't see anything major. Please let Nano play Dark Eruption Cat. Okay. Open deck list. Okay. <laughs> First, I send you a list and you send back list to both of us. Okay. Yeah, that's one of his uh, his decks he's been posting quite a bit about is he plays Rescue Cat with three Dark Eruption because he's playing the um, Black Garden list. And he wants to add back his Armageddon Knight, apparently. All right. So they're still... They're still debating on what's happening in terms of deck list um i do have uh r.i.p kid no cries deck list ricky's we play 11 matches it's easier also frazier is doing us the favor of streaming so we let him talk more freely this way well i don't need to make them public until the end yeah I mean, we're probably going to see the entirety of both of these lists. In yeah, 11 over the matches, of right? <laughs> 11 games, I imagine that, well, you know, it's best of 11. So it's, I guess, the first person to win six. Right, six games. Yeah, so however they want to, honestly, like, I, I have no horse in this race. I think that's how you say it. Or it's, a, is it 11 games? Oh, Nano thinks it's 11 matches. 
It's 11 games. I was going to say, 11, 11 games makes, uh, <laughs> I think everyone's lives easier than 11 matches. To talk about the decks as well as... <laughs> okay. All right, so they're doing best of 11. And Nano wants to do open list, so I can do open list. I don't I really don't care. Yeah, like it it doesn't matter to me. It's it's 11 games though. It is not It is not 11 <laughs> matches. I have, have work I tomorrow. I yeah, I exa exactly. I literally I have work. I have I have kids to feed. I have responsibilities. Yeah, there's oh. not a chance. <laughs> Oh, wow. I can't imagine. If you're doing 11 matches, you'd have to split it up like they split up um, uh, Peak of the Beak, right? Where yeah, you do yeah. it like... Yeah, over the course of the week. Exactly. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me stop my timer. So I just asked stream right now. Open list. Everything else I did let you choose. Okay, so they're going to be doing open list. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I don't. I don't think it overall changes too much. They're both punk competent enough players that like they'd be playing around the cards they'd think they'd be playing anyway. I actually think this probably benefits Rip Kid No Cry more because Nano might be playing some weird tech choice stuff. Yep. Okay. So they're going to be doing eleven games. Um, you know, winner takes all the money, and the deck list will be public. So, oh man. Yeah, with AJT apparently it was best of twenty-one matches. So that's probably why he thought it was matches. Yeah, that's that's fucking wild. That that's like... insane. That sample size? Oh my gosh! Like you, <laughs> you yeah, could figure is... out a matchup completely just off of that sample size. You should. Yeah. I guess so. I I actually understand what the nano is saying. What's he saying right now? So the Nano is basically saying, like, if the deck lists are public, then I don't have to worry about, like, what if they both sent the deck list to me and I just sent the deck list to the other person, but not the other one? Like, let's say I was, fr I don't know either of these people, but let's say right, that I was yeah. friends with one of them. I could be like, hey, he's playing Mirror Force or he's not playing Mirror Force, right? So I guess what the Nano was saying is, like, if the deck lists are just public, then there's no chance of any, like, foul play there, right? Like, right, right. It's uh, it's a little bit interesting though, because Nano and I were originally gonna do uh, a little bit of a challenge match before this one came to be, um, and, and Nano was taking the opposite side of the coin, where he did not want his deck list to be public. He was pretty adamant about not yeah. making his deck list public. So it's pretty interesting to see that he's uh, he's switched accords here. It might just be because it's one deck rather than multiple. Yeah, either way, I just hope we can get this to happen. Get it rolling. I'm excited. The entire community is excited. Thank you so much for hosting, Frazier. Yeah, I uh, I wanted to do this. Usually on Sundays, I'm usually just prepping for my podcast the next day, but we actually shot the podcast today in the morning. Oh, nice. So now I don't have that, like, you know, prep work that I usually do on Sundays. Um, yeah, so this kind of slots in pretty well for you, then. Maybe some more people can uh, can get some money matches in. Anyone has any old grudges they want to bring up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, for those in chat, my name is Lemur. Uh, I'm the other one on commentary right now. You probably have seen me in the Edison Discord. Uh, I'm around pretty frequently, but um, I have a long love and history with Yu-Gi-Oh! So excited to be here today.
The match is... Right, Pro Storm in chat saying the open list probably favors Ricky. I'm actually in agreement with that. Uh, I, I think that Ricky definitely gets a little bit of an edge if it's open deck list. We were talking about that a little bit beforehand. Just hoping that we can get started here shortly. How's uh How's everyone in chat doing today? While we're figuring this out, everyone doing okay? Nope, did not mean open that. Yeah, Lemur, uh, I don't know if you can see, if you have the stream open on like a web browser or something, you can see the chat. I can't really read mm -hmm. the chat right now, so if you could help with like um, reading some oh, of that yeah. and just like responding no, to No issue, that. I'll throw it on my second monitor, I got you. Yep, I'm gonna, cause I'm, I'm doing this administrative stuff with these guys going back and forth. Yeah, you're totally fine. Uh, we've got a bunch of people, bunch of people coming in. Everyone's excited, about 63 viewers right now. Uh, we're going to get into it shortly, guys. For those who just joined us, don't worry. Uh, just figuring out some things on the back end to make sure that they are okay to go. Not doing too badly. See a lot of people coming in from War League, a lot of people from the Edison Discord. That's super, super exciting. Okay, deck lists are officially going to be public from the very beginning. So, All right. So Ricky, Ricky's going to send me his deck list. The Nano's going to send me his deck list. I'm going to put them on the stream. And they are going to be public, and then they're going to play their best of 11. Also, James Ark is out here just absolutely doing the fucking most with, like, JD, Dark Arm, Tragodia. Oh, man. Meanwhile, I have, like, a whole pizza. Well, not a whole pizza, but I have a slice of pizza in the toaster oven that I am dying to eat. So I... Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. I'm probably going to get uh, order something in. I'll, I'll eat it between game eight and nine when that occurs, you know? <laughs> okay, so that's the end of that. So I'm just going to put another match on just while we wait for... Okay, so Ricky, a.k.a. Uh... Oh man. So I got okay, I got Ricky's deck list. Let me just get um the nanos. Absolutely. There's a there's been some fun things going around ladder recently. I think everyone's playing their fun decks the last couple days because the ladder reset's gonna happen with the band list. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, every uh every band list that comes out, the ladder gets reset uh a couple days afterward, I believe. So I, I ran into Ronak earlier today. I was playing Norlaris Frogs, and he was playing... Um, Norlaris Frogs. Oh, my lord. Yeah, fun, very fun deck. Uh, not not incredible, but it's uh, it's fun. And he was on uh, the Hino Tagasuchi and Yamada Dragon Frogs. Mm -hmm. That one was... That was fun. It was a fun match. But yeah, everyone's having a fun time right now. Super excited to be out here on this fine day. Do you, are you having like the crazy good spring day right now? Because this is our first actual day of spring that we've had where I am. Yeah, so uh, it is actually amazing weather outside in Philadelphia right now. Um, it's like 70 degrees, which is I consider like perfect. Yeah. You could pretty much get away with like a light jacket or a hoodie or even a t-shirt if you're, you know, 
if you're feeling it. Yeah, mine is, uh, I'm I'm in Indiana, and I've got a, a tank top on today, and it was 30 degrees last week, so I don't know what's happening. But I'm hoping it stays this way. Okay, so I have both deck lists now. Let me, hold on, let me do this. So, because one, one of them was sent as a screenshot. So I'm going to screenshot this deck. Oh, this, this definitely is spicy. I've never seen this oh, before. Oh, man. Okay. I'm excited. I, there's like eight options it could be, like before you even show it. Every, everyone who's been following him in Discord knows it could be a lot of different things. All right, I'm going to send. Okay, and then let me just grab. One sec. It's Vayu. So let me get a screenshot of Ricky's. Oh, if Ricky's on Vayu, that's actually incredible because the Nano, one of his strong positions is that Vayu Turbo is a terrible deck and uh, a lot of other decks are just better. So we will get to see firsthand if that logic holds up. Everyone says they've got pretty good weather too. Terrible for allergies. Unfortunate. That's what comes with the spring, sadly. I had to take uh, two two allergy pills today. It was terrible. So, okay. Here is um, Rip No Kid Ooh. No Cries list. And here is... Oh, let me shrink this. This is uh, the Nanos list. Yup. So he went with the Voltanis yes. Norlaris list. So these Ooh. are the deck lists. Um, yep, this, these are the deck lists. This is... <laughs> oh, man. I am incredibly excited. So, just looking at these deck lists right now, Frazier, like, it it has to be Vayu favored immediately. Because, Nor like, you could just give Vayu everything they want off of a Norlaris. Like, yeah, if I'm... you turn one Norlaris, gets Vi Vayu. That's, it's so scary. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be... I've never seen the deck that the Nana was playing. I've never seen this deck before. Yeah, no, he is... Uh... He is the originator. Uh, this is this is a list he's been pushing in in um, chat for a minute now. Uh, he he seems to think that Dark Voltanus is crazy. Uh, I know he played a similar list in the RBET. Uh, Keegan actually followed him on stream and saw a a Voltanus come in. But he's a big fan of this dra drastic drop off into Voltanus. So we will uh, see if it pans out for him. Okay. I'm just letting my Discord know that I'm live streaming and it has begun. Has it begun? Okay, wait. Oh, wait, there. Okay, there they go. Here they are. Oh, man. Already in game one. We have a Norlaris <laughs> in the graveyard. All right, here we go. Here we I'll go. Be right this back. Is exciting. So, Lemur, you you reach at watch the match. I'll be right back. I want to grab I'll, I'll hold it down for you. Don't worry, Fraser. Thank you so much. Get your pizza. Yeah. No issues. Oh man. Yeah. Norlaris and Graveyard. We're going for the dark eruption. The Nano special coming out strong and early. He is a big fan of dark eruption in a lot of different lists, and it is uh, in full effect here. Adding back the Plague Spreader Zombie in order to ditch it off of the Dark Griffer. Pretty cool line. Ends up even. Goes into the Mally. Going into two back row here. Kind of scary. Solemn into Solemn. That's a way to kick off the first game. And an immediate scoop from Ricky there. Uh, decided he wasn't going to play it out uh, going into the next game. Game two of the potential 11. Did not feel confident. Uh, I'm imagining that he wanted... I mean, not really, though. It's open deck list, so it's not like he wanted to hide the cards in his hand uh, mm -hmm. because Nano's going to know everything that's in his hand. Whew, okay. Okay. Yeah, wait, Swift game, game one. one. Wait, wait, Swift wait. game it's one. Over? It's over. It's over. There was a solemn judgment met with a solemn judgment. Uh, Ricky tried a solemn judgment, the Phantom of Chaos. Nano had the solemn judgment, and Ricky just scooped. Oh my god. 
Yep, apparently did not have the hand to try to play through Norlaris. Hmm. Let me update the score. Holy shit, I did not expect to be a game that I went to go grab a pizza. And yeah. literally, literally, a game has been decided already. So you're telling me it's a Nano one game one. Nano right, one done. game one, indeed. There we go. All right, one the Nano, zero rip kid, no cry. Moving on to game two, they're side decking. Yeah, uh, do, do you have the list pulled up? What do they have in their side deck? Oh, yes, look at that. Mm. So Ricky looks like fairly standard ish uh what what cards in that side deck do you think are going to come oh, in all of the dd matchup? crows right like, yeah all the dd crows for sure absolutely uh, probably deck devastation virus maybe it could it definitely could uh what does it hit i mean phantom of chaos i don't know if phantom yeah, of chaos it's, is it's like just phantom of chaos right and then this this deck mm, let me see there's a necro face in oh he's list? only playing one norlaris anyway yeah, he's playing one Norlaris. That's that's been the Norlaris kick recently. Is you're on one Norlaris and you're on uh, some combination of Armageddon Knight and Greffer, and you just pitch it. Okay, uh, what does Dark Voltanus actually do? <laughs> uh, read that card. It pops a card. It comes down after a counter trap and pops a card on the field. If I remember correctly. I, I need to know. Yeah, absolutely, because that's going to be integral to this match. After one counter, after one counter trap, you control has been activated and has resolved. You can tribute one dark monster, special summon this card from your hand. If this card special summon in this way, destroy one card in the field. And it's twenty eight hundred, so it's big. All right, let, yeah, it's, it's a big boy. Turn one, dash shoot. It's a pretty good opening. It's probably one of the best openings in the format. Yeah, not much can hold a candle to uh, seeing your entire opponent's hand. Stratos getting shuffled back into the deck, not letting that plus one resolve. And I wish you would tell us. I wish you would tell us the hand. From the I know he he decided he wasn't gonna write it down. Probably writing it down off of. Uh, yeah, I usually just. Yeah, I was about to say I just screenshot usually. Yeah. Either way, it works out pretty well. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chad is going crazy, uh, saying that Nano is going to uh, be incredibly funny in Discord if he ends up winning this. Okay, wait. So let me let me do a, a poll. Who wins? Let me let me do a poll, Chad. Ooh, yeah. We need a poll. All right. Best of eleven. Who wins? We got the Nano. Uh. Rip, no. Rip kid, no cry. I keep I say his name wrong so often. Okay. All right, I'm starting a poll, and you guys. A uh, little bit of a disagreement going on in the chat on DB right now. Hmm? Looks like Nano was wanting individual matches, like taking the sideboard out each game. And Ricky was not down for that. And I don't I don't believe that is how it is usually run in best of 11s. Wait, what is happening? So Nano Nano wants to decide after game three. Mm. And Ricky is saying no. Because it's a it's just a best of eleven where you stay sided the whole time. So this might this might end up being uh, whoever our judges for the event, or if you're judging, uh, might have to might have to resolve this one because I do not think they will agree on this because that actually drastically changes the outcome. Okay, so let me let me let me jump into Edison formats. <laughs> Uh, Bluff knock. Yes, this is a best of eleven. Uh, it is a money match. It's one. It's one set of best of eleven. So it's uh, individual games. It's not split up into matches or anything like that. Um, but that was that. Apparently, is okay. what is going on right now. Not them. Not them throwing. Oh, man.
Oh, no way. Oh, no. What oh, no way. We, we didn't even reach out to, to the judge to attempt to resolve this. A hundred viewers right now getting to watch in real time an actual rage quit in a hundred dollar money match. There's no oh my, was it, Is it a hundred viewers? There's, yeah, oh it's 101 viewers right now. Watching the Nano just decide that he wanted to, to go down a hundred. That is... what just happened? He First of all, he won game one. I would, like... He he was literally up in the series, yeah. He just didn't want Crow in every game, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. obviously he didn't yeah. want Crow in. But, like, his opponent could also just may, have main deck Crow if he wanted to, because, like, it's kind of known that this guy... You said it's kind of known this guy plays this yes. deck or whatever. This, like, kind of wacky style decks that Crow's very good against the majority he, of the time. Like, I would... You're already up a game. The advantage is on your side at that point, right? So, like... Also, I understood it as, after game one, we're playing with side decks. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's just, that, that, that is what best of 11 Am I crazy? Means. No, you're not crazy at all. That's exactly what it means. It, it, if you don't split it up into separate matches, like they were talking about with best of 11 matches, that would be individual sided. Like you, you would have individual sided match. But if it's just a best of 11 series, you, you, you're sided in every game after game one. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, yeah they did not work out like the logistics of how this is supposed to work and then a lot of people a lot of people are saying i've never seen 10 sided games in a row i mean but how else are they going to like do they have to play individual matches maybe they should just do best of five matches i think that that would work that that's also fine and if, if they were doing best of five matches and that was what was decided on then it would be a d like you would decide individual match like you would you would play one, leave the lobby, go into another lobby. Right. I mean, I'd like to get this resolved if we can, so we don't disappoint everyone. This yeah, was gonna be I wanted, uh, I, wanted to I wanted to come and watch some goddamn Yu-Gi-Oh! I'd set so I, yeah, I set time I, aside for this shit. Alright, I wanna see some some Yu-Gi-Oh! I got all excited and everything. Like, uh <laughs> Not the Nano literally rage quitting. It, it, uh, after winning game one, I'm just so flabbergasted. Like, I, I don't know. I've done a lot of weird things with $100 in my life, but never have I just thrown it away like that. <laughs> uh, 10 foot D, the match did start, uh, and it is no longer going on currently. I am uh, so... so I am shocked. Like, <laughs> look at this chat. Yeah, I don't, I don't, this is crazy. Also, like, I understand both of them because like, the Nano's like, okay, we remove side decks after somebody wins two. But like, that is a specific thing that you should definitely like discuss before. Absolutely. Because I've never heard of that. I've never heard of like, we play two, like after I win two games, whenever I win two games, it doesn't matter when I win two games, we have to take our side decks out and start or like have no side like that's insane so this is crazy uh, chat chat actually has a good idea they said can someone jump in for the chance at his hundred dollars playing his list yeah this definitely decided beforehand Yeah, uh, it, it should have absolutely. I'm just, I, I'm with you. Every money, like I've only played money matches in person. I've never done an online money match, but every money match I played in person was sided after game one. Bluff knock, I am not playing you with fucking dad return for any amount of money. You can go to hell. <laughs> go to absolute hell. Not a dad return fan? Me neither. That format is trash. Yeah, I... This is this is crazy to me. This is crazy that he like rage quit without even letting anyone say what their thoughts were. It just like, and he's not responding now. It's like he's did he is he is he like somewhere crying? I mean, I I'd certainly hope not. 
it's just I, this is unprecedented. Like this is insane. Like I, I, I cannot imagine giving a hundred dollars away, and I'm up, I'm no. up a game. And Yu-Gi-Oh, that's huge. Like that's like I won game one, right? So that means you get to go first in game you three. You could, you could go fifty-fifty for the rest of the series and win. Like, yes. <laughs> it, it's just that is flabbergasting. It's it's literally like starting when your opponent like shows up three minutes late for your regional, right? And you just get the game one win, and it's like, oh, so they're screwed. They they can't win now. This is crazy. All right, there's still. By the way, there's still a conversation happening. All right, I'll, I guess I'll put this on the screen. Yeah, 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 for sure. There's a conversation happening here. Um, I don't know how to move this. Okay, I guess I'll just do that. Uh, yeah, there's a conversation happening. Can this thing go away? But yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. Like, I'm confused. I don't know. You can send him the money if he wants, but I can't bear that shit for 11 games. Give me a peaceful opponent, not a guy fighting for any piece of sand. Wait, please. are you joking? Are you joking me? This is drama. This is this drama. is incredible drama. I, I'm not going to type because I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to just make him matter because he does not like me. Yeah, but... I saw that you two guys do not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I would just make it worse. So I'm not going to type at him. But OK, well, I mean, he's saying that I can send the money. So I guess ask Ricky if he wants to. Uh, but oh man! All right, let me just. We could do something like someone puts up fifty for a chance at his hundred, and Ricky gets the whole pot or something. I don't know. This is crazy. Like, this is the most absurd thing. I was so... I didn't even get to see a match, bro. I wouldn't even get my pizza. No. I didn't get to see a single fucking game. <laughs> I didn't That's get to see so a game. True. That is so oh, nuts. No. I'm hosting. <laughs> you you saw him summon uh, Dark Greffer <laughs> left to get your pizza and the entire match is over. That's actually crazy. Yo, I'm trying... I want this... I want them to play. And, and Rip Kid, no cry. He could just be like, all right, I'm just taking the money and going about my day. But he's like, no, I want to play. Yeah. So like, so like, he, like everybody wants to see the duel. I, I, I didn't see a fucking game. I am so mad that I went to go get pizza. I didn't see a game. I didn't see a single game. It's, uh, it's just like, you're going to have to watch the VOD for him activating Solemn Judgment, I guess. This like, is crazy. Guys, is this not the most insane thing you've ever seen? A money match decided in one game because they The person don't... who lost won the first game. Yes, that is the part that's also like really <laughs> blowing my mind. I just don't get it. I had written matches and we had agreed. He said game's fine. Then he said every game with sideboard after seeing deck list. Like, let's get a resolution here, guys. We're all adults. Yeah. Because, like, I, I may not be the Nano's biggest fan, but I don't want to see him just lose $100 like this. Like, yeah, I don't, don't want to see. Do I mean, this is not what any of us came here for. Uh, Bluff Knock chat is happening at the uh, edisonformat.com uh, Discord in the Frog channel. Uh, Ronak is incredibly happy that it's happening in the Frog Channel because he's been trying to get it to pass fairies forever now. Oh, <laughs> he said, I don't want to change the rules. <laughs> I am not changing the rules. Oh, no. This is so bad. I just, oh. And people are coming in and just posting frog deck lists in the middle. Of, what's going on? I am fully stuffing my face. You think he's going to charge back? Mm. I don't think so, because I think... I'm pretty sure he sent to friends and family. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I am not playing with new made-up rules. 
Can I like pay him twenty five dollars to pay with the new rules or some shit? That would be great. I just want to see the duel. I don't care how it yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. What's what's it? I will say, going into this, right? I thought that they were going to play best of eleven, and after game one, side decks would just be a thing. Yeah, but that's also because right. I, I do not money match, so I don't know really anything about the culture of it. I don't know what's been done in the past. Apparently, the Nano play AJT. What did they do when they played? Uh, they did a best of twenty one matches with a moderator, just like you're doing now, uh, and they like in. To be fair, AJT in the intro to all of the lobbies put all of the rules in the chat, like immediately. So they, it wasn't like they could be disagreed on. Uh, and it was a money match that happened because the Nano overslept Goat Format Worlds and missed it, and then issued a thousand dollar challenge to people saying he would have beat anyone in the tournament. Both of these guys are not going to agree. I know, and that's so tragic. Which is so sad. And I actually, I understand both of them, kind of. Like, I understand Ricky's like, listen. Oh, yeah. This is a waste of my fucking time. All right, you know this was supposed to happen yesterday. And I yeah, even set and time aside for it to be yesterday, and then the Nano pushed it back. I was like, you know what? Sunday's a chill day for me. I can still do it on Sunday, even though it was annoying, because I definitely could have done something differently on Saturday. But I was like, whatever. I will just do it on Sunday. So Sunday comes around and even like everything is just, you know, copacetic. We think that it's going to happen. And then it's like a big disagreement now. Frazier, in a world where time is money, Nano just robbed us blind. Yeah, I mean, uh, for sure. I, I'm never getting these minutes of my life back. And and Ricky, Ricky gets, you know, his hundred dollars. Yeah, Ricky comes out on top of this for sure. But like at the same time, it it, it, it can't feel good to be on his side either because people are going to give him shit for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know other people like this. No problem. Take it as a donation. Okay. At that point, I'm going to send Ricky his yeah, money. Just, uh, just send Ricky the money. Anyone in chat want to run a $100 money match against each other so we can get some content, please? Yeah, I'll be the banker. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to send, I'm going to send Ricky his money now. So let me see. What is, got to make sure I send this to the right person too, because, okay. So the first person who sent me money. Okay. Here we go. I see his name. So I wonder, is it, maybe I should, um, Maybe I should issue... Okay, let me ask him a question. So I am going to refund your initial payment. Yeah, and then send the, send the yeah. money that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Bluff knock saying, uh, Fraser, you end up with good content even when the content goes left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it went so fucking left. I can't believe this. <laughs> It crashed off the highway. It was like a Fast and the Furious movie. Like, <laughs> there's oh. tanks and shit shooting at you. It's so far left. I just can't. I was so ready. I got my pizza warmed up. I was telling Kenny, like, all right, I got to go do this thing. Like, I'm going to live stream a grudge match. I made a thumbnail. I fucking made a thumbnail. Oh, I made a thumbnail, guys. I didn't even get to see game one. I made a thumbnail. I didn't get to see a single game. And it was also like, that was the worst game of Yu-Gi-Oh ever. <laughs> like that, that scoop, it was a solemn judgment, solemn judgment scoop. <laughs> like... I am so sad. Okay, let me look at this thing about refunds. So what's happening? Okay, refund. Oh my gosh. Gavin Bennett says he'll play someone for 50. <laughs> oh, wow. Austin, completely true. When you get your food ready for Netflix and the internet goes out is what just happened to Frazier. <laughs> okay, I refund it. Let me tell Ricky. All right, and then let me send him an additional 100, so... 
Oh god, what's okay? This this name, this name of this person, I could not even begin. Okay, let me make sure I see that. Okay, so Sebastian, I wish that this was a staged staged circumstance right now, just to make the grudge match more heated. That yeah, would be no. incredible. This is this is <laughs> this very is not... real. This is really what happened. It's very unfortunate because I really, really really wanted to see uh i haven't seen a money match like this since like jeff jones and that one kid years absolutely ago. because like there's there's stuff behind it you know like when some when people are just like i'm gonna money match you and we've been friends for 15 years like come on that's that's different from like oh i really don't like you and i disagree with what you're saying we're gonna play for money yeah. like that's a totally different vibe okay so this thing is let me let me back up for a second let me change the amount i have to send 95 this thing is charging a five dollar fee oh man so i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that out of the payment because i have to pay a whole five dollars but anyway okay All right, so money has been sent. So I, I no longer, you know, I'm no longer the banker. I have no money. Wow, that is absolutely crazy. I'm just so surprised. Yeah, yeah. I, d I don't think there's precedent for this. I, I, I don't think this has ever happened. I don't know what to say. Like, where do we go from here? What What can you say? Like, do you do we do we do a money match from some other people? But like, it if, doesn't if, have the weight behind it. If right? two people want, yeah, exactly. If two people want to do a money match, I mean, I'm down to watch a money match. I'm down to host a money yeah, match. Yeah, like, give us something, dude. But at the same time, yeah, I really don't know. Yeah, Ginger, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Edison, <laughs> he said the Yu-Gi-Oh! Edison community lost brain cells today. Uh, the yeah, entire yeah. brain fell out of my skull. It's not there anymore. There are no cells to be had. Not, not me soliciting. <laughs> Why is this happening in the Frog Channel? Can we talk about this? Uh, so I started it in the Frog Channel to help Ronak out, and it just kind of stayed there. <laughs> yeah, because this is crazy. Yeah, there's people posting frog lists in the middle of it. It's so funny. Oh, rip. Okay. Rip. Oh, rip okay. No okay. He says he's willing to take on somebody for 100. Yeah, if someone else wants to play Ricky for 100, he's down. I mean, he's playing on house money. Yo, of course yeah, he Ricky's be. playing for free, basically, because he just already, he won $100. He, he's trying to double up on nothing. <laughs> that was the easiest $100 he, well, I can't even say that. I was going to say it's the easiest $100 he ever, nah. he ever made. Yeah. But there was a lot of, a lot of like stress back and forth arguing, and that's not worth it. To me, the emotional tax and labor was enough. <laughs> yeah, for me, for my time, I don't want to argue for $100. Like, I'm, I'm good on that. Absolutely not. Oh man. But yeah, anyone in chat, if anyone in chat is down, uh oh, who's talking to me? Go ahead and let us know. I swear my deck makes sense. I would like to show it to you if you're interested. I cooked up something. <laughs> Wait, is that what did Nato just say that? No. Oh. <sighs> I just told him I'm I'm not even I'm not even watching this. Like I literally I am not even watching. Yo, somebody, you listen, somebody play against uh, Rip Kid No Cry for $100. Who's got balls? Where's Bluff Knock at? Somebody play this man for a hundo. Oh, is he playing Garden Cat on stream right now? Let's go. Is Huge. that what that is? I, uh, Terraforming Black Garden says it's either Garden Cat or like the frog deck, right? Mm -hmm. When I tell you I haven't seen, <laughs> I have not paid attention at all. 
I am literally <laughs> reading the Discord trying to get somebody else to play a money match because I really want to see a match. Yeah, please. Listen, somebody, where's James Arca? Yeah, Hold on. Oh, yeah, man, oh I James I would be huge. I can't even go to my messages with James Arca because, because we literally just shared a deck list, and he's like, "Do not leak it." So I can't even click. On, actually, let me move this off. Let me move this off. This, let me move this off the screen. Yo. Yo, uh, Gavin Bennett said he'll play for 50 against Ricky. All right. All right. James said he, him and Ricky are friends, so they're not they're not doing uh, that. Yeah. But yeah, Gavin yeah. Bennett said, OK, wait, Gavin, G Gavin Bennett in the chat, uh, the uh, frog chat said he'd play for 50. All right, wait, so Gavin versus Ricky for not James messaging me back. Hold on, let me see what James is saying. Uh, apologies to everybody if you could hear the loud ass mower that just powered up behind my house. I didn't really hear anything, to be honest. I'll take that. That's good. Okay, so wait, I think they're about to start. Oh, we got something. We got something going on. We're going to give something to the 92 viewers that are still tuned in. Okay, Yo, wait. Frozen Soul in chat said he'll sponsor the other 50 for Gavin so they can play for 100. Someone. Okay, so they have to send me. Once I... All right, so we're getting a money match. Yeah, we're still getting a money match. I'm so I'm, excited. I'm pumped. Okay, good. We're we're back. We're so back, Frazier. So, uh, I don't. I think the Frozen Soul. I don't think you're gonna need to need to sponsor. I think they're already solved out on the fifty. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I can't see a way that this comes out with Nano not banned from EdisonFormat.com Discord. I feel like that's going to be, be be an announcement that comes out in the next few days, but we'll see if it happens. Nano still still sounding off in the fro frog discord <laughs> as if all right one sec all right let's see what they're yeah. saying let's see don't what they're worry saying. frozen soul yeah, yeah yeah frozen soul you're gonna see some games it, it's gonna happen we've got gavin bennett versus ricky I also, uh, I'm also up on this actually because my bet with uh, Blitz, one of my War Lake teammates, was that Nana would send the money, not that he would complete the money match. So I still won my bet. Uh, Theron J, what happened is the the Nano uh, sent a hundred dollars. Uh, decided he was going to play a really sick best of 11 series against Ricky. They got into game one. Nano came out strong. Normal summon a dark greffer. Uh, had a solemn judgment in response to a solemn judgment, which caused a scoop on the other side. Ricky just couldn't handle it. Uh, and then Nano freaked out and left the lobby and handed Ricky $100. No, oh, Gavin sent me the money. I have Gavin's money. I have Gavin's $50 right now. Oh, okay. All right. I have the monies. Okay, let's get the fuck out of this. Oh, yes, please. We're getting a money match, guys. One way or another. 
Let their let them eat cake. <laughs> After witnessing a reputation suicide, we have decided that we are going to be uh, moving on and never thinking about it again. Okay. Kevin Bennett. Kid. No. All right, here's the poll. All right. All right, so Gavin and... No, let me see. What is Gavin's... Is his name... Let me close this shit. Let me say, let me know. I think our dude Gavin's going to go up on this poll because he's the YouTube chat hero. Is he? he came I mean, from he, the chat. he did kind of like heroically. Yeah, he, he stepped up to the plate. Let's, let's everyone give a round of applause right now for uh, for our boy. Okay, He's got work in an hour and he's still doing it. Oh God, that was a lot. That was a lot. Uh, no, this is going to be a best of three match, not five matches. Holy shit. I just want to know when they start. Like y'all, y'all let me know. I guess that, yeah. All right, Ripkid is, is hosting. Yeah, we don't need deckless. We don't need any of that shit. We just want to see nah, a duel. Of course not. Yeah. We're I just going to have some good old fashioned Yu Gi Oh! They're going to get a rulings question to be like, fuck it. We're fine. We're moving on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, no. I'm taking this off the screen. <laughs> you are fucking unhinged. Yeah, that that could get pretty bad pretty uh pretty fast. Bluff knock is not a real person. No, he's a he's a crazy individual. <laughs> Where is his Canada dark at? tournaments are, are pretty pretty nuts. They're literally dark. They are literally dark. That is the case. <laughs> oh god. Bro, can we get where's Gavin at? Please, Gavin. Is he changing his? Is he fixing his deck list up? <laughs> he he saw the open deck list for Ricky, and he was like, "All right, let me just slot in these DD crows real quick." That's that's the real play, actually. He <laughs> he said he would do it in chat because he saw his deck list. I mean, at the end of the day, I would not see Gavin might get baited here, thinking that. Ricky is playing the same deck that he was going to play um, against Nat Nano. Yeah. Yeah, Ricky could definitely change it up here. And honestly, I kind of think you should change it up here. He, may, he might not, but. Yeah, because Ricky, if he plays the exact same 70, I mean, sure, it's Vayu Turbo. It's technically the best deck by results in Edison format. So, like, even if you know my deck list, like, it doesn't matter that much, to be honest. But Right. Deck is still the deck. The deck is still a deck. And at the end of the day, you have to pilot it well. You have to draw well. You have to win your die rolls and all that good stuff. So, now, if your deck is spicy, though, which is why I was really confused about the Nano's decision to make the deck list public. If your deck is spicy, I would well, like why do you want it to, to be seen? Yeah, I would like it to not be seen. Yeah, and that was his whole like hypothesis that he he did against me when we were gonna do our match, is he didn't want the the list to be public, and I was like, okay, whatever, I, they, they don't need to be public. But he was worried that uh, Purple Flurp was gonna show me the deck list or something like that. Uh, yeah, like, I, he, like, I get it, right? Because if you know, you don't know who's friends and all that good stuff, and like you don't want someone to get an unfair advantage. Yeah, but if you, yeah, okay, wait, I think that they're starting. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yes, barbecue oh, pork. Oh, good. So barbecue pork is Gavin. It. So wait, let me. I gotta change my stream now, because my stream has all the wrong information at the bottom. So it should say Edison format. Um, well, it's not even best of eleven. It's just. Oh, we see the future fusion. He did, in fact, switch oh, it up. Oh, shit. He did, okay, in fact, switch it up. Zero, okay. So this is the first... I think this is the first deck list that he sent to me. Because he sent me two deck... He sent me one deck list. 
before it was like we're going to play with then when the decklist became a public thing he sent me a second one which was the value yeah. total one which to be completely honest with you he might have been planning something spicy and then didn't want it to go public yeah because i get that like especially again i think that i don't want decklist public if we're doing a money match personally because i feel like if i'm not playing something like mirror force or torrential that is a huge advantage to know oh. i'm just not playing those cards yeah incredibly absolutely not not playing tt in the main board and yeah, you know like, that game one like that's most crazy. blackwing decks don't play torrential but you don't know that all blackwing decks don't play torrential you know what i mean so yeah like there's always still that that little pocket in the back of your mind that's thinking about it yeah All right, we're going Mally. Going in hard here. What do we think this is on the, the side of BBQ Pork? What did he mill off the Lila? Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. So it looks like Christia Sword. Yeah, it definitely looks like Christia Sword. <laughs> Ricky said, these cards aren't going to break me. I'm just going to have both of them on the field at the same time. Beat him down with him. All right. We got ourselves a money match, and it is classic Diva Hero versus Christius Warren, more than likely, judging by the Soul of Purity and Light. Now, yep. this matchup, I would say, is actually favored towards Christius Warren. I feel like Christius Warren has the bigger inevitability in this match. But, 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 Diva Hero can OTK the fuck out of you. Yeah, absolutely. They they have that like kind of surprise factor, come out of nowhere, just hit you with the right hook. Yeah. Uh Christy Sword, I, I would also say Christy Sword's definitely favored in this matchup. Um I'm interested to see what list BBQ Pork is on, because there there's been some shifting in lists after the most recent RBET. Correct. Uh with the with the two top eight performances that the deck got. So I, I'm interested to see what he's on. Okay. So he's already at four Light Sworn names if you count the Arcus. And Arcus can't get banished. So that shit's definitely going to the graveyard when it leaves the field. So if this dies, once the, once this guy is gone, you know, we'll 100% have four four different names. Yeah. Set up the JD super quickly here. Yeah. Oh, and a saying and putting the pressure on. So Absolute Zero is going to attack the player on Honest. See if he does end up dropping something here. Yeah, I'm curious. So if he, the damage. if he has the JD, I think that you're supposed to use Honest there. Just to clear the zero for obvious reasons so that JD can yeah. kind of like safely. But if you don't have the JD, then it's kind of like a waste of an Honest in a way. Because you might be able to just like set a Riker or something. But life points are low now, so I, all bets are off. Yeah, I'd definitely be reading that he doesn't have the JD in this spot. Yeah. Um, Cause like you're just gonna throw a J. I mean, it still you know destroyed three of my cards technically. Cause Sangin replaced itself, so you get you get three of my cards for your one JD. Still very good, but not not worth dropping down to uh, 800 life points after you do that. Cause that's where he would be if he pays a thousand. So right. Oh yeah, this is just best of three. Especially with this uh, with this Sangin on board, it's it's pretty terrifying <laughs> to be honest with you like this is a spot where Sagan really shines because even if you can deal with the board you know that he's going to still have pressure the next turn Ooh. okay let me let me check out the chat how y'all doing well all right let me end the poll first of all <laughs> who did end up winning the poll look at that Results may be slightly skewed because I should have ended it before the match started, but I forgot. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, looks like we think Ricky's gonna gonna clutch it out with the Diva Hero here, fifty four percent. Okay, it's pretty good odds. Pretty good. It's pretty close, yeah, not, honestly. Not at all. I, I and honestly, it might just be uh, Ricky. I, th I feel like he's a little bit more of a known quantity than Gavin, right? We, we yeah. haven't really. Uh, heard a lot from Gavin before, but he did step up to the plate here, rocking in with the Christia Sworn, and he, he does have the names engraved, so we'll see if he can make something happen. Alright, he wants to maybe drop a boss monster safely now. Only two fairies engraved, so the worst can happen. Pop return. There's the JD, so he did in fact have it. 
Or Druid this turn. Or, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. oh! Oh no! Oh, oh that's four oh, fairies. I don't think. I don't think. Oh, but wait! No, Zero this, and Sangan are both on the chain. They're both mandatory chain links, so, so he's he can gonna, he can order it how he wants. Gonna, he's gonna order zero one. Yeah, he, Gavin has to clarify there. Yeah, he chooses. So obviously, oh, he he did declare Sangan first, zero second. Oh yeah, he blatantly. Oh, he did it. That he way. actually declared it. Yeah. Yeah, but there you declare it Sangan then zero, so it definitely goes Sangan. It will. Yeah, Sangan chain link one zero chain link two. Right. Harold will will negate the absolute zero. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah. Go ahead and throw that in Watchers chat so they know. Oh, is that where? It's, how do I do that? Where's Watchers chat? Uh, if you go, if you go down the big guy right there. Oh, yeah, this thing? Online users? No, oh, the, uh, the big eye icon next to the uh, Oh, extra this deck. thing. Okay, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so... Point so, one, was saying in... Two was... Zero. Okay, yeah, he de he declared... I didn't even realize that in the chat. He blatantly declared yeah. saying in... Yeah, he, he did do... Sang in and then ab zero. Gotcha. Now you can order them however you want because they're both mandatory effects, so you can put them on the chain, you know, whatever. But mm -hmm. oh, the Christia two. That's what I said. He went the four fairies when he did this. Oh my gosh. No, granted, you know what's kind of funny is that if uh, if Ricky just has brain control, none of this matters. <laughs> oh, ab absolutely. None of it matters at all. But I it's still so like Ricky, fun to see the swing. Yeah, I kind of feel like Ricky just has brain control. He's like, I don't want to waste anyone else's time. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to argue about this. Pay 800. Yeah. Go ahead. Like, I want to pay Destroy Christy attack for, attack for game. Like, what yeah. are you doing? He, now, uh, in chat, Masha did point out something pretty important. He could just mill Necrogrime. Oh, that yeah. That also does not lose to... Uh, brain control. So he has a four out of twenty-three. Well, I'm not four. It's one out of twenty-three chance of milling it. He gets yeah. four chances. Okay, he did didn't, not mill. Didn't hit. Let's if see I if the was Ricky, there. if I was Ricky, I would have put the brain control in the field before I even drew my card. Like I would not have drawn. <laughs> okay, my Mind control, control is does it. basically it, the same thing. Does it if he has another summon, which we know he does because he sang and searched. But what if he did he get back Harold? Oh, he has both. Oh my god, he has both. He has both. both. No. <laughs> What a slow roll. Another one. Bro. <laughs> Bro, he have both. Ricky, Ricky, you should have put one on the field before you drew King. I would have just put it on the field. Just slap it down there. Like, you know what's going to happen. Listen, I would not have even drawn. I want you to know that I won before. I just want you to know that I won before I draw. <laughs> I don't want you to think I got lucky. I want you to know that oh, I had yeah. you beat always. Because you could do it off the top, and if it was yeah. off the top, it's like, oh, I got sacked, whatever. No, yeah. I had you. There's, there's two there's, <laughs> do, there's two different kinds of psychological damage. You could draw the card and immediately put it into play. Like, you could just mill it. Like, he could have went for a turn, instead of drawing, just, like, mill the top card, and then, like, brain control you, right? Like, do it that way. And that causes its own mental damage, because you're like, wow, you really just sacked the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it goes both ways. I think, uh... It de honestly, for me, it depends on what game of the series it is. Yeah. If it's if it's game three, I'm doing the brain control thing the entire time where I just put it down. But if it's game one, maybe it's more damaging to make you think that they top decked it. <laughs> All right, let me put a one next to uh, Ricky's name. So Ricky is up a game. Okay, Ricky is one game away from being $50 richer. Rich Ricky is winning it all tonight, okay? Honestly, are, are we just going to run the Ricky gauntlet? Do we just keep running <laughs> money matches with Ricky until he loses? Ricky is collecting his Sunday coin right now. <laughs> Better than any uh, any side hustle I've had, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's winning. And it's not even been, it's been like an hour since we started. So in an hour, this man's made $100. He's about to make 150 if he wins one more game. Yeah, that's a pretty good uh, ROI, I would say. That's, I don't make $150 in an hour, so. I mean, Absolutely sometimes, not. sometimes I do, but not normally. That is ridiculous. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah. Going into game two here. What uh, What is Christy's sworn side in in this matchup? 
against so i think that you naturally beat diva hero i don't yeah. i don't know what you would even side like i feel like you mess your deck up if you side for diva hero yeah i would kind of agree with that that's, that's where my mind was going and it, it honestly that it, it kind of hurts a little bit because uh, at least I know myself, if I don't have anything to side for a matchup that I just lost game one to, that like affects me mentally. Yeah, so I'll say this. I talked to a true hero about this whole time. I don't think that siding against Diva Hero is real. I think that siding yeah. against Diva Hero is a fucking gamble. You are literally gambling with your game because you side in Crow, there's a high chance that Crow is just dead because they have two orders and two heroes. You side in Pulling the Rug, there's a chance that they just don't summon Stratos or Diva, or you draw Pulling the Rug after they summon Stratos or Diva or Kaius. Yep. Uh, you side in Soul Release. Soul Release has the problem against every deck where you might draw it after the fact and it's fucking terrible. Uh, what else do... What, are, what other cards? Yeah, same, only... same thing with Iron Wall. Iron Wall has been seeing play in that deck yeah. and uh, it, it's like you draw it after they've already Miracle Fusion and you're like, well, this is awful. So I personally don't really like siding against Diva Hero. I And I'm also like typically a frog player. So I naturally beat Diva Hero. It's kind of like my little brother. You know, yeah. that, that matchup just feels it just feels like a little bro deck compared to like Hero Frogs because Hero Frogs is by far like the best Miracle Fusion deck in the format. So, um, yeah, let me let me do this. Sheesh. Oh, so how many? Okay, what did he mill so far? So we have four names in a grave already. Yeah, already, already. Like immediately. Harold puts him down to three fairies if he does have it. <laughs> James Ark said, "Put Slimmer gl Glimmer back on." <laughs> <laughs> this guy is on hinge, bro. Uh, yeah. So I personally do not really side against. Now I will say this though: decks that are good with oppression, oppression destroys Diva Hero. So yeah. and Vanity's Fiend does too. I don't know if. Christia Swarm plays either of those because they have a built-in oppression, which is the best oppression in the format, Christia. Um, yeah, I don't believe so. And it's it's awkward, too, because DB Hero is one of those decks where it's like it, it, Consecrated Light is good against half the deck and awful against the other half of the deck. Correct. So you can't side that card in. Yeah, like I, that, this goes back to my point of I feel like every card against Diva Hero is very gimmicky. Like they're all hit or miss. They're all high variance. Even Compulse. Like I see somebody saying Compulse. And while Compulse can be good, you also can just lose to Diva Hero regular. Like, they can just Stratos, Caius you, return from different dimension you, and all that stuff, and you just, like, yeah. lose the game that way. Like, if you have Compulse, absolutely, you should bring it in. I agree with that. But don't expect it to be, like, the end-all, be-all against Diva Hero, because it's not. Yeah, it, it's not a complete game-changer. It's just a, a nice thing to have. It's a little yeah. luxury. Got the Gores here. Going in for 23 with Celestia. Gores gets declared. Seeing the power of uh, Legacy of the Yadigarasi. Yeah, Legacy's... The, the Celestia actually got no card advantage. Because yeah. it, it popped the Malicious that went plus off of the... Or I should say, like, traded Malicious and Infernal Prodigy, which drew a card. Malicious has an effect in Grave to go, you know. So, he didn't really lose... Like, Ricky didn't lose any cards there. Um... What just happened? He went summon JD, pay a thousand, and chain compulse. Uh, yeah, chain compulse bounce the uh, the monster back to hand. Now, do you like that? He could have just swung over. Yeah, I, uh, I guess I guess it was main phase two. It was main phase two. Yeah, because he attacked yeah. directly for twenty three. His opponent yeah, drops yeah, 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 yeah. main phase two summon compulse. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I like it. I like it because you're going to lose the compulse anyway. Exactly. And I mean, knowing Celestia is in the hand is kind of a mind game as well, because yeah. you can't really leave a Light Sworn on board ever. The only thing I'll say is that he would be a little closer to Christia for what it's worth, but maybe he has Herald, which was broken if he compulsed back a, a fairy. Yeah, for the Herald. That would be phenomenal, especially yeah. <laughs> Herald sitting on top of the graveyard. So uh, it's Ricky doesn't think he has it, that kind of thing. Someone said, who's commentating? This is this is Lemur. He's in Edison Format's uh, Discord server. And he's you. You were a voice actor, and you did like some commercial work and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Uh, I did some stuff in the entertainment industry prior to COVID, uh, and then COVID kind of wiped. I did musical theater professionally. COVID gotcha. wiped that out. Uh, I also say you so, do have a very broadcasty sounding voice. Like your voice sounds perfect for oh, for commentary. Yeah, I appreciate that. I've done a lot of commentary for League of Legends and Hearthstone in the past. Um, also, big, you sound big, big like fan. fucking Simo to me. I don't know if that's like just so me. 
Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's I don't a, know. Well, it depends on who you ask, right? But to, to me, I'm say. friends with I'm friends with Simo. But you sound like him, and it kind of freaks me out a little bit because I almost feel like, what if this is Simo's alt account? <laughs> like he just yeah, I'm actually just trolling you. <laughs> what if this is Simo the whole time? Because like, <laughs> oh my god, not Simo at home. But you know, you do sound like and Simo has. I mean, he has one of the biggest channels on YouTube, right? So yeah, I can't. No one can really say anything bad about him for real. Like that man has over three hundred thousand subs, probably like three hundred fifty thousand subs by now. No, he he played the game incredibly well. Yeah, uh, I. I watched a lot of his content um, over the year. I think he's been, I think he just had his like 10 year anniversary on YouTube not too long ago. Yeah, see, that's insane. Um, yeah, absolutely crazy. But I watched a lot of his content when I used to play modern Yu Gi Oh! But is it me, chat? Do you guys think that Lemur sounds like, because he sounds like Simo to me? I don't, like, am I tripping or does he sound like him to you guys? Because I don't, you know, this sounds like it to me. But throw a poll, throw a poll up, Frazier. Yeah, throw, uh, <laughs> let me do it. <laughs> So you spell Lemur L E U M E R? Oh yeah, it's uh everyone calls me Loomer or Leumer or uh all of those various things. When I was 10 years old, Avatar the Last Airbender was my favorite show, right? Uh still is, of course. Great show. Uh but I thought that Momo was the coolest character, and so I went on and made a screen name for my very first online account as Lemur and spelled it wrong, and it's just stuck ever since. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Someone said yes, but not as high pitch. Yeah, I could agree with that one. I could see it. Also, guys, if you don't mind, could you like the stream? It helps with the algorithm and all that good stuff. So let me just chill a little bit. I think we're at like, are we under 30? How many likes do we have? Oh, we have, we have 100... five likes right now. I just, you have to refresh it. Oh, 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 oh. So let's see how many we got. Okay, we got 25 likes. Can we get to like a solid 40? Like 40 would be nice. We have 105 watchers. Can everybody mash that like button one time? It's free to do. Gotta push this content up so we can get some more Edison grudge yes, money matches. Because I'm willing to do Please. more. I'm willing to do more uh, Edison grudge matches like this. I I kind of like this. I like that they have to play seriously because there's money on the line. Yes, exactly, exactly. It's no, it's no like, oh, this is a, this is a grudge match, but we're just like playing whatever decks we want to play, and that, like if you lose, it's whatever. It's like, oh, I'm actually losing the stuff that I worked for. <laughs> So I, I better take this super seriously. Oh, interesting. So he special the Lila in defense mode with Luminous effect. I was very confused at first. Yeah. Because that looks like he was using the effect, which obviously there's a start that's on the field. So. Summon in defense. That is yelling that he doesn't have it on us. So one, two, three, four, uh, five fairies in the grave. So yep. he's over by one because there's four literally in this little area right here. And then there's the solar purity and light. So he's at five fairies. And what about JDs? There's one JD in the grave. Yeah. And one, one beckoning. In one beckoning in grave as well. Usually mm -hmm. they play two. And beckoning is not set either. So honest right here would be really good. It would, but uh, it is a great bait to summon that in defense position. That would if be you insane. had honest. Yeah, that would be yeah. fucking insane. <laughs> that would be next level. Oh, oh the return. Oh, he took all of it. All right. Well, it looks like barbecue pork went. No, never mind. <laughs> I all think right, this so. is a quick one for Ricky. Yeah, he's trying to speed run this. But l listen, Ricky has time to probably do another one. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Just keep him on until he loses. He's playing with house money. Did he, he didn't use Stratos' effect? Or. Yeah, he didn't use Stratos' effect? Uh, on summon, he did not. No, I think he just thinks he's winning the game. Fair. You maybe should still nothing, use it. Yeah, maybe he has nothing to search. Is that possible? I don't know. It could be. What's in his graveyard? No, he uh, maybe Infernal Prodigy. He could have. Yeah, he could have nothing to search. Yeah, it's possible because both malicious are accounted for and Infernal Prodigy is accounted for. So it's it's possible. What else do they play? Like double, usually double Infernal Prodigy and like double malicious. Yeah, right? usually, usually it's double Infernal Prodigy, but um, I know some lists are going off of the two. Oh, he chained it to Gardner? So, Samu, I was kind of thinking like if he chained it to Gardner, then obviously it misses timing. But I assume he also, that he just like waited until after Gardner like fully resolved. Like, okay, Gardner resolves on an open chain link. I'm going to activate return. Uh, BBQ Pork just baited a solemn judgment by summoning Christian with five fairies in grave. Oh, wait, does he? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, God. Um, hold on. <laughs> you should probably say something about that. 
All right, the game's over, though. It's actually over. Oh, yeah, game's over. Game's over. All right. Yeah. Yeah, the game's over. Ricky, yep. Ricky's just like, I am... I'm just trying to get my... Okay, Ricky's getting his $50, and he's, he's just clearing it. All right. <laughs> he, he doesn't care about solemn judgmenting that. Uh, I'm going to send this man face. his money again. I've been sending Ricky money all day. Yeah, the IRS is going to look into you. Yeah, they're going to be like, what kind of relationship do you guys have with each other? Yeah, what's because going on here? What the fuck is happening here? What the fuck? <laughs> all right. Damn, Ricky is coming up nicely today. Yeah, I mean, up 150. Pretty nuts. See if he wants to play another one. Try to get another challenger for Ricky. Yeah, somebody throw. else wants to jump in and try to take take Ricky down, by all means. Yeah, maybe that's that's what this segment becomes, Frazier. It's a gauntlet where, like, someone's winner stays <laughs> rotating. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Oh, wait, let's put the replay on. Let's put the replay on, guys. I'm sure you guys want to see if somebody misplayed because we love a good misplay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Honestly, Frazier, you should watch the Nanos replay since you didn't get to see the first match. <laughs> I should do that. Oh, my gosh. All right, one sec. Uh, Jobson, I will return to Garden Cat. Don't worry. It's it's on my back burner. I'm going to get it. I'm going to I'm gonna top with it at one point. It's going to happen. All right. <laughs> okay, so Ricky has raked in a nice little 150 already, and it's been an hour. <laughs> is Ricky your pen? <laughs> that is what the IRS thinks. <laughs> Anyone want to play Go for Money? Frozen said he might try to. Go is Go is a whole different monster, Frozen. Yeah, I can't commentate Go. That thing, I I don't know that format at all. It scares me. Oh, remember to update the stream title. I should probably do that. Yeah. Let me. Uh, geez, there's so much to do. Mm. <laughs> it's all over the place. I'm just going to change it to Edison Grudge Matches. Yeah, it's good all-encompasser. Did, yeah. uh, did you ask Ricky if you want to play again yet? Yeah, let's see what he... Let's see. Ricky, I know it's, I think it's late when he lives, but let's see if he... Yeah. Frozen Soul, you were wanting to put money up. You want to play Ricky? Oh, Ricky said he'll play again. He did. He and immediately too. Like that was frame perfect. Ricky said he is down to play again. <laughs> this is so I anyone love, in chat? I love this game. <laughs> if anyone wants to play Ricky, please press one now. Yeah, if anybody wants to challenge Ricky. To another another grudge match, by all means, please let me know. We can get this thing popping. We're just watching the replay right now. So he didn't have Harold when he did the bounce Celestia thing. Yeah, he didn't. I still think it's probably fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crash. Then he gets to set all his back row. with a pretty good return. Gavin tried to last ditch after summoning Christy with five, five fairies. <laughs> he did attempt it. Didn't work out. It didn't but... work out at all, but... <clears throat> Could he not have gone to four fairies on the JD turn? No, on the turn where JD was out... He only had... He had two in grave. Two it was three. Yeah, he only had two fairies in grave. Let's see if Slim or Glimmer are still playing. I, I wonder who that Ooh. most is. Let's see. Also today, I learned that you can talk in Watcher's chat. 
I didn't know how to do that. Before. I'm surprised you didn't know that. That's been around I had, forever. I had no idea. I had oh, man, no people, idea. People have probably talked a lot of shit to you over the years in Watchers chat. That you, you oh just yeah, didn't I had even... no idea. Like, so people can just say whatever in here. I, this thing doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't light up though. Is the thing. No, it doesn't, because it does want to distract you, right? Because it's not you sending the messages or receiving the messages. Yeah. So I just had, I didn't, I never knew that this was a thing. I, I wonder how many times, because like when I'm playing in RBETs and stuff, I'm always on stream at some point. Yeah. And, and there's like 25 watchers, right? Yeah, that are I never all even thought about like, there. oh God, if you click on this button, you're going to just see like everything. All the opinions, all the unwarranted opinions. But we have uh, <laughs> got some old school frog monarchs against value turbo, I want to say. Yeah, definitely value turbo. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're all, we might be done. Yeah. I'm not seeing any takers anywhere. We might be done. Wait, where's, where's raw neck? <laughs> At raw neck. Oh, oh, he's typing. Oh. I know you like money. He does. He always posts this one meme of like Britney Spears and it's like, yeah, I like money. <laughs> oh, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, is it? Br oh, I think it's, it's Britney Spears. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's it's either Britney Spears or it's Regina George from oh, the, yeah, it might be Mean her. Girls. It's yeah. somebody saying I like money. Oh, yeah, it's oh, wait, it is Britney. Holy shit. I just found it. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, what does it say? Yeah, I'm down for money match sometime, but tonight I got to get my team to submit War League list in 90 minutes. So Ronak would play. He said, you said I'll do that for you. <laughs> I can get on his War League team. Don't worry. Like, I'll take care of your War League. Just get into yeah, the match. You, you get on the money match. Come on now. This is too good. Yeah, he's been playing some some crazy frog decks recently. I'm excited to see what his next innovation after playing frogs is. Yeah, he has an unlimited number of frogs. Like, you can't even counter the fact that he plays frogs because some of them are so different that they actually cover the weaknesses of, like, a conventional frog deck. Yeah, literally. Like, Mausoleum Frogs is really good against, for example, like, Glad Beast because you could just go yeah. Mausoleum, Summon Light, Darkest Dragon, Attack, and it's just like, holy shit. Like, what do I do? And then sometimes you have a gadget rod to back that up, too. Yeah, it's like, oh, my no, God, no traps can be activated when he attacks. So some some of his builds are just like weirdly good against the anti frog decks. Yeah. And Crow's not even good, like that good against that deck. No, either. It so not. it's it's so it's so awkward to side against this list if you don't know what he's on. What's going on here? Oh, today was fun. I had fun despite the fact that things went wrong with the Nano. I yeah. really wanted to see that best of 11. I'm not going to lie. So hopefully one day those two players can kind of come to some type of agreement or something. I don't know, but yeah, maybe maybe it wasn't staged, but eventually we can say it was staged, you know? Yeah. Yeah. In the past, you know? <laughs> oh, man, that yeah. was that was crazy. Absolutely insane. But I mean, Frazier, I had a great time today. Thank you for having me on. Yes, I, no I, problem, I King. I am probably going after I'm gonna watch this match and then I'm gonna close up because I need to go edit the progression series and that takes like a couple yeah. hours. So uh but yeah, it was actually awesome having you on. I definitely wouldn't mind doing something like this again. If we do more grudge matches, I'll let you know and then Yeah. So No, I would yeah. I would love that. I I'm uh I'm usually free on Sundays. So yeah, if you same. if you end up doing them on Sundays, then now next watch. next Sunday I will be in North Carolina, Raleigh for, for the Raleigh. Yes, yeah. yes. So I'll be playing Ultimate Time Wizard there. Um, but you know when I get back the week the week I get back uh, the following week I should say is is another basically free weekend for me. I don't have anything planned. So if people want to you know do some some more grudge matches, you drum know, up some drama <laughs> yeah. while Rice CS Raleigh yeah, exactly. going on, so we can exactly. get a good. Uh, Good grudge match there. Maybe me versus AJT BLS. I'm sure people will love to see that one. <laughs> oh, that would be a sick one. <laughs> that would be so crazy. <laughs> um, but no, you know, yeah. I, if people want to do more grudge matches, I'm absolutely fine with that. So just let me know. I love I love being the trusted source in the community for, you know, the being the banker. Yeah. If people need a middle That's, man a, all that. That's how it starts. Just make, make sure you keep your tax record straight. No, I yeah, definitely got to keep the tax record straight. <laughs> the ins and outs. There's a lot oh, of ins and outs. Perfect. Well, I am going to go ahead and hop off then if we're right. if we're done here. Have but, a good one. Yeah, again, 
fantastic time. I will see you again later. All right, see ya. All right, chat. So can we talk? There's no way that wasn't Simo, right? <laughs> like that's just Simo's all. Simo is trolling me right now, and he's just fucking blatantly using an alt account. There, that's there's no way that wasn't him. That just sounded way too much like him. Am I crazy? Are you going to Indy? When is Indy? Oh God, let me look at. See, I don't even know what YCSs and shit is coming. I need a manager. I need like an actual person to schedule things or like an assistant. Cause I'm literally. Okay, Indy is June 1st, so I have plenty of time to figure that out. I am I will be going to Indy more than likely, though. Was that Simo's alter ego, Somic? Oh, so it was like Simo with an S, but backwards? Somic. So flow, one, two, three. I was joking. I don't, I don't really money match. It's not really my thing. When I was younger, I was all about it, but Sofa was like, wait, let's get some action. Let's get some action. I will likely be at Big Boy Gaming on Friday next week because I'll be in North Carolina on Thursday. Like I get to North Carolina Thursday morning. So I'll be there for two days before the YCS even kicks off. RBETLA, first place is 3LT Caius. I'm, I don't know if I might go to LA. I went from Moreno Valley. Frazier, I remember watching a YouTube video of you clapping someone uh, on their spell ground, man. It's hard to see this message because this uh, chat has this weird like heart thing. Like I can do this, I can like send hearts or whatever and it blocks part of the message so i'm just gonna do this so i can read your message you clapping someone for their wait i clapped someone for their spell ground mat that happened i beat someone for a spell ground mat i don't even remember that are you sure that was me I'm not saying that it wasn't me i just don't remember it Yeah, I don't remember, I don't remember uh, beating someone for a spell ground, but I could see it being a thing because when I was younger, I definitely played for cards, for money, for whatever, of Iron Man and stuff like that. Holy hell. Today was eventful, but not in a way that I expected. Like I was thinking one thing. Oh, also, let me, let me end this poll. I was fully expecting a best of 11 and we ended up getting like a Ricky Gauntlet series. Bring back to mid. Yeah, to mid retired after he won a YCS, like shortly after he won a YCS. What's going on in this game? These players are. I don't know if they're OK, they're I'm going to leave because they're like in. I think they're testing or something, so let's just, let's just see what else is going on. Is anyone else in the high rated? I want to see one game before I close up. So. Also, so this is before everyone gets reset to zero because of the ban list, apparently. What is this? What is this? Is this summon cat cat good? Summon cat cat good. <laughs> I'm reading the yo if you guys are not in edison formats discord you guys need to join that discord server it is so good because that's how this all started all of this started in the edisonformat.com discord server I just crazy that it all happened in a frog channel. Too fresh and I'll play someone for money if anybody wants some action. As soon as I end the stream, I'm taking the meanest nap. I cannot wait. 
I've been up since like 9 a.m. this morning because I had to record the podcast. I had to record the progression series. Then I had to prep for what I thought was going to be the best of 11 match. And now we're here. King Vegeta, what's up? Long time no see. How have you been? I've been good. Me personally, I, I've been good. Frog channel, best channel. The frog channel is actually amazing. It goes down in the frog channel. The frog channel is the best channel. Okay, what's what's going on here? Is that did he return? Why are there so many monsters on the field? Okay, definitely return. Synchroing with Plague and Gardener to make Cataster. Okay. So, already, well, the money matches are over now. Um, no kid, rip kid, no cry won two of them, I believe. Was it two of them? No, he, well, yes, yes, he did, technically. What is happening? Not me judging this situation. That is, this has nothing to do with me. I'm just here watching. Why am I judging this random match? <clears throat> so wait, too fresh. prison <laughs> somebody said dv judge side quest like why am i side questing right now that's really what i just did though i legit side quest for no reason I'm mad that I did not see a single game between the Nano and, and Ricky. Eugene says, shoot, hopefully I can play you sometime on Dueling Book. I know you're pretty busy. Yeah, usually I do shadow games with our Patreon people. Um, I do those all the time and upload those to YouTube and they're pretty fun. But I don't usually go on Dueling Book and just play people for no reason, to be honest. That's not really like, it's either content or a shadow game for a Patreon. Dueling Book is insufferable. Like, I, I can't imagine trying to grind Dueling Book. Like, I, I respect everyone who does it. You know, more power to you. But I get so frustrated so quick on this fucking website. The second it starts to lag, or like I have a communication issue with my opponent, or my opponent doesn't know how Yu-Gi-Oh works, so I have to explain it and teach them how to play Yu-Gi-Oh during the match. I just get immediately annoyed. Let me, while we're doing this. Mm 
Oh my god, that's why I only that's why I can only really play paper unless it's like tag force. Yeah, I imagine that DB ladder is fine at the like like you said top 20 or so. The problem is how many fucking people do you have to go through before you end up in the top 20? Cause I can't. Like that grind. That grind to get there is just is not happening for me. I, I just don't have the time to do that. All right, so that's the end of that. I'm gonna wait like two minutes because I think that um, Too Fresh said that he might get an opponent to play for 50 bucks. But if not, I'm just closing up shop. Okay, wait, what's happening? All right, that's my side quest. So I completed my side quest. Interesting, I don't really see many people playing in terms of like the names that I recognize. I usually see like, let me check the leaderboard. Hold on, who's, who's, current, who's the current king? Where do I check that at? Rankings? Where's the rankings? Here we go. Okay, so Edison format. Okay, so right now, Slimmer Gimmer is rank one. Dan, top deck team, plus 999. Yon Daime, Bad Robot. Vivi, One Cristo, Zabo 91, Skylar 77, Light Angel, and Young Money. Let's just look at top 20 just to see. Okay. So yeah, we got we got some pretty pretty now. I know some of these are alt accounts for some of the better players. Um but I'd recognize a lot of like Bat Robot, obviously. My friend Dave Vieira. And then Light Angel just won the EWCQ with Black Wings. Um Yeah, so I recognize some of these names. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's stream and we will definitely catch up later after YCS rally, most likely. Wish me luck in that ultimate time with your tournament. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to edit some videos.